Welcome to another My Two Good Hands video. We're out in the garage, we're in the motorhome as you can see. So, you remember that other video where we put a small charger in on the battery? First trip out worked great. First trip out, we drove for a day, we camped at one spot for a week, always on the cord, all right? Then uh, we drove one day home, so everything was good. Our next trip was two weeks. RV was unhooked every day, most of the day, only plugged in at night, and slowly our house battery level was going down. So we're going to take out the uh, couple amp charger. We bought one here. It's a 10 amp charger. So we're going to install the 10 amp charger, and we're going to go through how we did that. If you've seen the other one, this might be a little redundant, but uh, you can watch this one and get it. Same scenario. We got a plug. We're going to be plugging in. We're going to put on extension cord to the wall we charge the battery fully when we're done uh we got our tools out here one extra tool is a flashlight we are in the garage it will get very dark when we unhook stuff so remember to unhook your battery before you work on it i am going to not do that so that i can get light for you for the video but uh don't forget to like and subscribe so here's the tools we got a long screwdriver so we get our ground wire our wire strippers to make our uh, ground wire remember we got to cut that loop off couple of half inch wrenches to loosen the hot wire to the batteries uh, so let's go down and do that remember RV is unplugged from the wall there's no 110 volts here. so the next thing we have to do is cut this off we'll leave a little bit of wire just like we did last time just want to add a connector to it later and we got to strip this wire off uh, this wire is a little bigger so that's a good thing we'll strip it uh, not that big the ground wire Twist it around itself nice and good there. And we're going to go stick that in and uh, put the screw down. Maybe we can fold this over itself like that. So we've got a nice spot. So let's go down and try to get the other wire loose so we can uh, work on that. So here we are. You can see what we have here. We turn on this light in case it gets dark in here. You can see we've got the... Uh, the part we're going to unhook right there and we've got these wires before we get this down well i guess we got plenty of plenty of space here to pull these so we'll be okay doing that later but we have to put this wire on here so what we have to do is get that loose uh, so what we're going to do is put this this wrench down in here to hold it so we don't break anything and then we're going to put this wrench on here. Whoop, wrong size. And we're going to break this loose. Uh, just like this. <clears throat> Once you got that relatively loose, you can uh, turn it by hand. So I'm going to get this out of there. Turn it by hand. And again, I want to get, that's what I didn't want to do, drop the nut. You can see the nut right here, so I'm getting it back. Um, so now we're going to carefully take our charger wire off, out of the way. Take our new charger wire and get it put on. Just like that. Get our uh, washer back on. Get our nut started again by hand. And we can go back in here with the, uh, the wrench on the inside so we don't break anything. I'll push this down here. And then, uh, so we'll get this on here. And we can uh, tighten this one back. All right, we're good and tight on that. So I'm not really going to be able to show you this, but you can see that we've got the ground wire in this one. Well, there we go, pop the fuse. 
So that was a mistake because I touched it to here. So uh, we're now in the dark, which uh, we can go see if we can get that reset. But uh, there you go. We'll come back. We'll, we'll switch this out uh, because it, we shorted it and we'll, uh, we'll get it changed and we'll be back. So you can see down in there, we got our, uh, our ground wire securely fastened there. You can see that down in there. So, uh, so we're back online. Now we've got to unmount this uh, old charger and unhook it, unplug it. And we're going to plug the other one into extension cord, show you how it works. So let us get the old one out. Uh, we won't show you that. So before we mount this in, we want to show you how it works. Here's a mode switch. The first time you use it, you have to set up the mode switch for the battery you have. It does have a remember memory. So here we go. Plug it in. You can see it's saying 12 volt battery. That's what we've got. So that's good. And then uh, you can see that it's charging first step there. Uh, hopefully you can see the, uh, see the little red there. When she's fully charged, she'll go to the green at the top there. So now we got to mount this thing inside our RV somewhere, and we're going to go figure that out. Well, there you go. We mounted it nicely. You can see we are now on uh, three bars, so we're charging up pretty quick. Remember, this is a 10-amp single battery. If you got two batteries, you want to get two of these, or you want to get uh, one that there's a 10-amp one that's times two, a little more money. I'll put a link in the description to where these are. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. So there you go, battery charger in. Now we went to a 10 amp. We'll see how that goes. We'll report back at the next big trip. But uh, looking at what's uh, elsewhere, a 10 amp should be more than plenty. Get us charged up overnight. So we're full charge for the day. So that should work. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Post notifications on. Take a look down in the description. I got links to some of these parts. So uh, catch you next video. So there you go. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my two good hands. We put the battery charger in and we're good to go. And I just kneeled on a mouse trap. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you in the next video. Well, there you go. We mounted it nicely. You can see we are now on uh, three bars. So we're charging up pretty quick. Remember, this is a 10 amp single battery. If you got two batteries, you want to get two of these, or you want to get uh, one that there's a 10 amp one that's times two, a little more money. I'll put a link in the description to where these are. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. So there you go. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my two good hands. We put the battery charger in and we're good to go. And I just kneeled on a mouse trap. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you in the next video.